Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Vivekanandan, Head and Resident Professor, Department of Microbiology in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am take about foodborne illness. Okay, foodborne illness or diseases it is the same. For the foodborne diseases, generally foodborne diseases is causing from the consumption of contamination food and pathogenic bacteria, viruses, parasites. These are also the mainly causative agents of foodborne diseases. Okay, what is the main observation of foodborne diseases? The World Health Organization estimated that in one three people in worldwide suffer from the foodborne diseases in for every year. Totally, the one point million die from the severe food and waterborne uh, diarrhea, some related illness. It will be causative for observed foot infection. So, especially the salmonella and bacteria, mostly 90 percentage of organisms, bacteria related organisms, worldwide causing for the foot poisoning. Okay, what are the main classification of foodborne diseases? Generally, foodborne infection caused. To do the entrance of pathogenic microorganisms, the contaminating food into the our body. The body will be reacting at by raising the temperature. It will be example causing some other fever. And sometimes a longer incubation period will be stored in your food sources. Then foodborne intoxication. The intoxication means the caused by consumption of food is a metabolic product, some uh, some toxic material, some poisonous substances it is present in the food material okay what are the different types of food contaminants the biological contaminants then chemical contaminants then examples the biological contaminants means some other bacteria fungi viruses parasites these are the cause the biological contaminant then the chemical contaminants the chemical contaminants means substances that example the chemical uh, chemical substance is normally present in our food sources example some the some coloring agents this is called the, the cost in some restaurant. These are the main adding for our uh, some coloring agent. These are the chemical contaminants. Then some bio pesticides, some, some, the, some other pesticides will be costly for our vegetables. So these are the different types of food contaminants. Okay, what are the biological contaminants? Bacteria, viruses, fungal, and parasites. Bacteria will be costly with botulism, then E. coli infection. Then uh, salmonella, so sigillosis, these are the bacterial infection. Viral means the hepatitis and normal virus, rotavirus, these are the viral infection. Fungus is causing for yeast and mold. Then parasitic infection, giardiasis, cyclosporiasis, then trichomiasis. Okay, disease caused by bacteria. Then so the botulism is a spore forming organism. Basically, this bacteria is a clastridium botulinum is a causative agent for botulism. Then E. coli infection. Essentially, E. coli is produced some of the cigar toxin. The, the cigar toxin is produced by Essentia coli organism. It is a causative way in the incubation time for the 3 to 8 days. It's present. In. Then example is the uh, what are the symptoms will be E. coli caused by? Universe fecus materials, the bloody diarrhea is caused from the organism. Then listeriosis, this is listeriosis and monocytosis, these are all the bacteria. Then salmonellosis, salmonellosis is called the salmonella bacteria. So generally, the bacteria is a facultative anaerobic organism and is the cause of the illness is the bacterial infection. Then, what are the symptoms will be occurred? The diarrhea, headache, and nausea, then fever. Then bacteria, sigilla bacteria is called the sigillosis. This is the same as the facultative anaerobic bacteria. The infection is bacterial infection. Then uh, the fever, abdominal cramps and some the dehydration in your foot substance. These are the commonly present in infection. Then staphylococcal illnesses. Then disease caused by some other viruses. The virus is mostly the influenza and bacteriophages virus that is caused by the foot infection. Then uh, viral infection example is hepatitis A. Hepatitis is the viruses is called the haptoviruses. It generally is found in human intestinal tract. Then what are the symptoms is the same fever, headache and stomach pain and sometimes it causes the jaundice also. The incubation time is 2 to 10 months you can incubate, uh, inhale the food materials after contaminated food you can consume. Then Norwalk viruses. <coughs> 
then this is caused by some parasites giardia cyclosporum these are the common examples of parasitic infection then cyclosporiasis is a organism is a parasite is called the cyclospora theotaniasis the cyclosporiasis infection then giardiasis the same for is a single cell microorganisms called the protozoa the what is mean by protozoa I means the single cell microorganism the same infection for the diarrhea and stomach cramps also the main symptom of giardiasis then trichonosiasis these are positive organisms trichonella spiralis then this is caused by some toxin totally two or two different toxin it will be causing the different food substances examples for bha dea and the perfume some you can in the perfume related toxin then uh, triclosan paraffin these all this is caused by some toxin okay toxins are the depending on the different origins is the mycotoxin zootoxin and pycotoxin is the different uh, origin of the or, uh, uh, toxin will be producing the bacteria is a potential some fungi producing toxins called aflatoxin the toxic algae is called agatoic acid then different histamine and glycolysis these are different organisms that are producing the toxin there are toxin characters are non replicate non transferable and colorless aflatoxin mycotoxin then acrotoxin then uh, botulinum then botulinum toxin then is the cause the uh, before and after of uh, toxin infection your head and your eye color changes these are the before and after changes in your body then acrotic acid the same the toxin produced by dinoflagellates organism the common examples of natural toxins in food the glycolytes and cyanide generating materials then some other bamboo shoots these are all the different commonly present in natural toxin okay different uh, food borne diseases is a reservoir of pathogen and it will be contamination of foods the uh, the root of uh, the infections will be entry in your body okay what are the main recommendation of you can avoid this kind of food poisoning the first proper uh, hand washing is a proper way then you can is the properly cooked food these are the commonly recommendations from the the world health organization the avoid some the milk and milk products related when the cooks uh, cooked by eggs some other food contaminants the raw eggs also you can normally eat it so these are the kind of you can avoid it you can uh, prevent from the food borne infection then what are the different organisms will be costing even in next chapter you can detail you can see now Thank you.